So what's up everyone? It is your girl, Jail Beauty 87 here, aka Grace. And today, we got some new products to try out. Ooh, this one just fell. So I got the Gucci, what is this? Um, felt Tip Eyeliner Long Lasting. During the sale, they only had one shade, which is Eve Black. Then I got this Eyes to Cheek that um, Tina the Fancy Face told me to get. <laughs> I got the shade 5 Rosso Valentina. Then I got the, um, of course, the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter because she's all about the Pillow Talk. So this is the um, multi Pillow Talk Multi Glow. I got the dark of the two shades. I believe it's called Deep Light. And then, of course, y'all know I had to get this palette. So I'm going to start off with the blush and stuff. And then we're going to get into... This palette right here from Artist Couture. I brought my other one so we can see the difference in tones because he usually does like basically warm and neutral tones. He did one fun colorful one, which y'all know of course I was happy about. And then he did um the one I have now. So he has about four or five eyes. No, I think he has six eyes of the palettes because he has one he did with um KV's Hus and Static John. He has his original one, I think it's called Midnight Maven that looks similar to um Kirsten's um discontinued palette um Celestial Thunder. Then he has Caliente and he has what's the other one? It's Caliente, uh, Ethereal Bloom, and sorry, I might be seven because I forgot about the Quickie Nudes, the mini palette. But anyway, here is what my blush looks like. So it's a nice pinky one. I felt like it would go good with this look, which is another reason I want to use it. It comes with this cute little brush sitting down here, if you see. So we're gonna go ahead and put this blush on. We're gonna put this highlight on, and then I'm gonna show you the palette and we're gonna talk about that. Where's my phone? Because I need to pull that up. This blush was $54, I want to say. Child looks high. I was like, but Tina was talking about how amazing it was. So I was like, I guess Tina, but girl, that's high. Well, blush is high. Or well, maybe I'm just cheap. I don't know, but it's high to me. And you think I would be complaining because y'all normally know I love that foundation and I'm just all about the foundation. Like, it's amazing to me. I know Karen, I know um my girl, um, Camelia Yvette, I know she doesn't like it. Yeah, this was $58. For this blush then my eyeliner pen was how much was that the highlighter was 45 and then the eyeliner pen was 38 so this stuff was not cheap so let's take a little dab of it and move it in a little bit closer and start the blushing and as you see i didn't i didn't dip in that much but it's i see what tina means it's nice like satin like highlighty sheen too i mean um blushed satin glow to your face so i'm here for it it's nice i got a color i felt like i've used a lot because of the price point the other color i was thinking about getting was sold out so i was like we'll go with this one because i feel like i don't have a lot of colors in my um collection that look like this y'all can let me know yeah i feel like i wear the color a lot because i feel like it's not necessarily like a color i own or a lot of colors i own it reminds me of that um hooded beauty one i have the cherry one that's what the tone reminds me of but it was right, it looks nice and satiny and cute on the face or whatever. So let's read what it said. It says the unique Valentino gesture to create the signature eye to cheek look. Use oh, it tells you how to use it in the applicator. I thought it was gonna give us information on the actual product itself. But no, I don't see any of that on here. So I guess we have to go on Sephora. So let me get back on Sephora and read what it says. Okay, so it says a versatile cream to powder blush and eyeshadow that creates a visible radiant finish from eye to cheek with beautiful coverage and a lightweight feel. I would definitely say that. This two-in-one eyeshadow and blush has a cream sheer finish that can be layered for a more intense color impact, which I'm liking. The buildable formula is infused with Valentino Signature Roma Light Complex crafted with color boosting pearls for a highlighted visible radiant skin. Okay. Now let's read what this highlighter is. Because so that's what we're about to put on. And then of course we do the eyeliner when we do the palette obviously. Okay, so the highlighter is $45. And it says, a light reflecting multi-use highlighter with four shades in one for all over glass-like 
glow in Charlotte's iconic pillow talk. This illuminating formula combines the glow of a liquid highlight with the power of a powder for a smoothing, soft, focused finish. It also enhances and adds dimension to cheekbones, eyes, and the cupid's bow. Use romantic light for a wash of new pink glow or cool complexions and dream light for a warm pink glow on warm complexions. Well, I have a warm complexion, so obviously I got the right one in pink light. I'm sorry, dream light. And then we will look at the palette. So the palette is $45, and it says a must-have eyeshadow and pressed pigment palette made up of 12 richly pigmented modern mauve shades in three different finishes to create endless looks. Redefine the concept of mauves with this lavish new palette that's sure to reign supreme. This palette features seven buttery mattes, two sparkling dual chrome shades, and three multi-dimensional high pearl finishes in an array of mauve berry and neutral tones. Y'all, I've been sitting here for six minutes just reading information on the products. And we still have not put the highlight or the eyeshadow on my face. Let's, girl, let's get to this. I mean, it has to be cool. But I want to read everything off at the same time so that way when I get done doing that, I can just come back, do the eyes, and call it that. Yeah. So this one does look like it's better suited for my skin, though. Look how deep and colorful that is. So I guess I'll swatch each part so you can see each part on my skin. Because y'all know I normally don't do that, but I'm going to just swirl it all together and put it on my face. But I want you to see what each tone looks like on its own, so... I'm just going from the front to the back when it comes to the tones in here. So that's what all four of the tones look like on some of my skin tone. I feel like they look nice together. Now I don't know how much pink I'm going to get out of this, but I'm literally just about to swirl the brush all the way around and all of them and go from there. So that's yes. It's giving a nice pink, peachy glow in my opinion. Look at that, like yes, honey. I swear it like two or three times, and like it's definitely giving that glow from thin, silky type shade. But because I swear it so much, I guess I like you know, took a little too much because I feel like over here is just popping and beaming and everything else. And that was enough to put literally all down the middle of my face, and I have to get that thing again. So if you do the one side, y'all know that I do to the other side. So now I'm gonna just have to swirl it in like two or three times on this side. And, get that extra glow from within situation on this side as well. But you know, I don't mind, it looks fine. I will say that I'm not necessarily in love with my under eye is looking right now. I feel like it looks kind of dark. Thank goodness y'all can see it close up, but girl, um, to me it's getting a little bit of struggle box and I'm not here for it. But probably because I didn't use a sponge to put the stuff on today, I just used the brush. So let's see. What the inside of the palette looks like. Okay. So this is what she looks like simply stunning. Look at that, y'all. That's really nice. When I first saw it, it made me think of the, um, what is the new pop by Kevin Aquan? Y'all, I'm going to have to contact Mother soon about my, um, stuff. Because I'm like, I don't know where my Bridgerton is. Everybody else's Bridgerton is coming. Mine still isn't here, so... I don't know what's going on. I'm trying to find the palette because I know I brought it with me because I thought it was similar to this. So hold on a second. Here it is. And then I brought two of his older palettes so you all can see he usually just does nudish type tones. But it made me think of this palette initially. They don't look exactly the same as y'all just saw based on this palette. And this one, I will hold them together so you can see. But I feel like it gave me the Kevin Aquan nude pop vibes as you can see when I first saw it. I know this is one of the late Frank Mel Thompson's favorite palettes. I really like the color story as well because y'all know mauve. So my vibe when it comes to a actual, you know, neutral or nude palette, I don't really go for um, the browns or whatnot. But here is the original OG palette he came out with that everybody was raving about, the Supreme Nudes. Here's what she looks like. And I have the Supreme Bronze as well because I think I ended up getting it on a really good deal for like I think 20 or 25 dollars on his website during Black Friday. I was initially gonna put it in a giveaway, but then I was like, since I review the brand a lot, I should probably just have it in my arsenal to show since I usually review a lot of the big pounds. I did a couple of the small ones, but I usually do the big ones, and this is what it looks like. So as you can see, he usually does for like more a nude color story. 
He does have one or two colorful palettes, but I don't consider the warm palette coming into a colorful palette. I consider more of the, <coughs> excuse me, the Ethereal Blooms one. But we're going to go off camera now, try to do something with this. I have no idea what I'm going to do. Um, but knowing me, I'm going to probably save with the last two rows and maybe use something from the top row as my inner corner shade. So I will be right back when we get to that. Okay, girl? Okay. Okay, y'all, this is what I came up with. I used the two blue homie shades, of course. So I basically used the majority of stuff I said I was gonna use. So I used this entire row. I'm gonna use this one. Then I mix these two together. Then I mix these two together in the inner corner and this is on the lower lash line. So, I'm gonna get to it now. Um, I started off with the shade Prestige, which is a really dark purple shade. I know I need to have my dark V is a requirement of life for me. This is the type of shade I wish had been in my Patrick Ta um, rose. I mean, in what, the Major Dimensions Volume 2 palette. So it could have been deep enough. And then when I put the cream on it, it would really been deep enough. But like when you all said in my comment section, he has a tendency to only do mid tone things, which is why I'd be disappointed. But I assume that's why he always puts the cream in it, so it can be darkened up if you need to. But it's like, if I got melanin in that cream, and that light powder still isn't going to be deep enough for me. So what I've been doing is I've just been mixing with other palettes that have shades in it like this. So I mixed it with the um, She's in Parties palette from Melt and did a look with it. Because the shimmers in there are stunning. It's just the matte is going to run deep enough for my skin tone. I kind of want to do a battle of the rose palettes and just rank or rank all the rose palettes since everybody wants to come up with a rose palette nowadays. So I think about doing that. Let me know if you're interested in it because you know if you're trying to get into these new rosy tones like I am, and y'all know this is my like actual this is my new tone. I can do that and I figure it might be fun for you. Now we're gonna take the shade Royal, which is like the pink shade in here, and I just kind of put that in my crease. I love tones like this too, so it's like Angel's got me with this palette because he needs all the tones to put in here that would be like, you know, mauve for me. Like him and Huda, if they want to make five million mauve palettes, I am here for it. Make all of them. I will buy them all. Because that is my new color set, mauve. Because it's still pinky and berry, so it still has somewhat of color to it, but it's not overwhelming and power, an overpowering color like a. I guess like Flight Club from Nodders or something like that would be the people. Like it's not that, but it's still giving the color. My problem with like traditional neutrals is, is you're giving my skin tone color. So I don't see a purpose behind it, but duh. That's just me. I'm gonna put Lust and Provocative together. So two um, lighter shades toward the top I have pointed out to you. I just literally airbrushed them over all the stuff we did here just now. So that's what we're gonna do on camera. And I also use my, um, what do you call it? Um, my J E pencil from Danessa Mobs that I showed down in the last video. So we're gonna use that in this video when I put on the little lash line stuff. And then we're gonna use the Gucci felt tip line. And then we'll use some of the stuff that I recently got from Sephora. Now I'm gonna do a part two Sephora haul. I'm still waiting on my last package to show up. And it doesn't show up till Wednesday. So when it shows up, I'll probably like do a part two of the video. And then we'll call it a day. Finally. I'm like, it took long enough for all this stuff to arrive, but I'm gonna say, oh, y'all know it takes them forever to ship out everything. So, I took some glitter glue and then I, um, went, excuse me, went ahead and started using the shimmers that I showed y'all. And of course, I had to use the two dual combs because I was like, it's like a requirement of life. I want all the shifting of all the color on my lid with this, what I would consider to be neutral eye look. And this is just a beach cosmetics glitter glue. Now, we all know Makeup Revolution bought them, but I was watching a video from, I'm gonna use the shade Sex Appeal, now that's that dual chrome um, mauve shade at the bottom. I was watching a video from this YouTuber and she was talking about how the owner, one of the co-owners or owners of Makeup Revolution got caught telling um, somebody they need to go back to Africa because they're talking about the new collection that um, Revolution came out with for the new rock beauty brands they have coming out with Jimi Hendrix and one of the comments was, you know, like, um, I hope this is with a black owned brand since, you know, it's a black artist. And he liked a comment where some girl told another girl to go back to Africa and it wasn't that serious or something to that effect. I'll try to remember to link the video down below, but I was like, huh, so that's how we feel. 
I'm glad I know so I can act accordingly. So I wanna know what y'all thought about it. Cause it's like I already wasn't a huge fan of theirs because the equality is hit or miss and then you got 533 different million sub brands and then you have to try to find hits and misses between all of them and then you keep coming out with brands and then all the stuff is mediocre like and Jessica always talks about. And it always just looks like it's thrown together at the last minute just so you can make the deadline when you're trying to push out the product. And then you over here telling me I need to go back to Africa because I asked this simple question, like, no. And obviously it wasn't me that asked the question because I had to find this video to find out this information, but I wasn't liking the fact that that was the, he thought that was an okay comment to like on his um, company account, mind you. I was like, okay, I feel so bad that BH Cosmetics got bought by these people because I don't know that I'm going to support them anymore if, you know, if he get my money now versus people who actually own BH Cosmetics who didn't have these sort of issues. So, I don't know if y'all gonna see any BH Cosmetics over here when they do rebrand or do whatever it is that um, they're going to do with the brand just because I didn't like him thinking it was okay to make comments about people that look like me going back to Africa just because somebody asked a simple question and not that he made the comment but the fact that you agreed with them because you liking it means you agree with them because if you didn't like it you could have just apologized or you could have been like oh I didn't mean to like that because nine times out of ten like the girl said in the video when you um like something you can um unlike it but the fact that you did not like it and then you didn't address it when um it was seen by people that you liked it is it making it good for me? There's plenty of other drugstore brands who don't have these sort of issues or have had one or two issues in the past and they have corrected them. But the fact that you're trying to sweep it under the rug and act like it didn't exist when you said it is what my problem is with this whole situation. So I figured I'd talk to y'all about that in this video and just hear what your thoughts were in the comment section. Like I said, I will link the girl's video down below in the comment section. But I just thought that was just totally gross. disrespectful but you're pretending to be inclusive with all the stuff in your brain but you think I should go back to Africa because I made a comment about um, um, working with a black eyed people and it was just like a genuine question because I don't think the girl meant any harm by it but the fact that that was your response as a brand owner speaks volumes to me about your character as a person and I don't want any of my money in your pocket Anyway, we're going to take the shades to the doctors. And so I'm running under the lower lash line. I'm running it under the lower lash line. See, y'all done got me upset, y'all. And I don't even own that much stuff in the brand. I think I own like two bronzers, a primer, and two eyeshadow palettes between like all 533 million other brands. So it's like. Um, I'm probably just gonna declutter them and give them to my cousins and then go on with life. Cause I'm like, I'm not trying to support that. I mean, I already own stuff, so a couple of things I might uh, keep, but I just really was not feeling like it. that whole thought process. And like I said, you can comment down below in the comment section and tell me what you think, but I wouldn't feel that. I wouldn't feel that at all. So we have seductress down there. Now we're gonna take seductress, put her in the inner corner, along with strip down. So I started with seductress because it was the shade with the deepest tone in it for the inner corner, and then I just put strip down on top because it's more of one of those glittery shades that he likes to put in there. Kind of like the ones in the Patrick's top palette, but not the same. And just pop that on top to get a little more brightness in the look. Because the other shade that's in here is another one of those glittery like kind of shades as well so I didn't want to put that on top so this is what we're working with now we're going to take the jade pencil from Danessa Myricks that I bought during the sale which you saw my lower last line here that's where that blue is popping in um if I remember correctly so just from like blue to like green and purple or something which is why I put it in there plus I just really want to give it extra pop to this look so I'm going to go ahead and put it in there but it's a beautiful color and I feel like it gives a nice little pop to the eyelid so if you going out at night, you want to be just a little bit, a tad bit extra. You just put this on with this eyelid. To I mean, so a lot of people, this is probably already a lot, but to someone like me who just is real flashy and extra, when it comes to their makeup, to me it's just a like, little extra pop to add on to the look. So that's 
what I did with it. Um, now we're gonna take this felt eyeliner pen from Gucci and see how this goes. So I, if I remember correctly, I read this is supposed to be like a satin finish though. It's not supposed to be like a matte black, it's supposed to be satin. I feel like that's what I did. Let's check, because that was the one thing I didn't check when I was on Sephora. Silo Definer Eyeliner. It's supposed to be water resistant and long lasting. It glides on easily and dries quickly. The flexible felt tip ensures precision on application while, yeah, while the highly pigmented black creates an intense satin finish. Okay, so I was right, it is a satin finish. So let's see how she works. Because I usually like brush tips, not necessarily felt tips. But since I've been practicing a lot, I feel like I've been working on I feel like it's drying out really too quick at the tip. When I'm trying to put it on, I don't know if it's because. I know some is good on my lid, but it's not working in my favor very easily at all. So. I'm not interested in liking this because I don't feel like it's giving it even in precise line. I feel like I have to go over two times to use it. So, yeah, no, I'm not. If you have more experience with like felt tip plunge it's better, you like this better, but on further application, I don't like this. I don't know if it's got I put too much on the lid or whatever, but hold on, my battery about that. But yeah, no, this ain't working. Okay, y'all, so the eyeliner, trash. Don't don't waste your money on this. I'm actually thinking about returning this because it was that bad. It was so difficult trying to get across the um shimmer I put on my lid. It was fine when I was on here in the outer view with the mat. But it's like as soon as I got to where any of the glitter was, so it's like if there's any sort of um shimmer or sparkle you put on your eyes, if you like to do like those glittery sparkly shimmery shades this eyeliner is gonna work for you because it did not want to move over any of it and i don't think i packed on that much to where it should have been that difficult to do it and when i use my other eyeliners i know they would work for those so i'm like yeah no mm -mm. it's not worth the 38 dollars at all um i like the fact that it was a satin finish so that way when i want like a different look on my eyeliner i could get that but this is not good at all now the palette on the other hand yes 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 angel did all that did you see my eyes girl like Yes, girl, Angel did all that. I'm loving the dual chromes that he put in this palette. I love the cute little shimmers that he added to the palette. I feel like they'll go um, good with some of the satin shades to put on the lid. Or you could just do like a simple um, softer mauve look and put one of those sparkly champagne-ish type glitters on the lid and it'll be great. And I think it was great to add on to my collection with his palettes. So that way you have a warm tone one, you have a cool tone one, and then you have a nice little mauve moment for someone like myself who loves mauve. So, thank you, Angel, honey. You did all that as usual. I'm here for it. It's a vibe. I'm loving it. Now I just need you to come out with some berry tone lipsticks to go with the collection with these eyes. We, we need it, honey. Give the girls what they need. <laughs> Give them a lip like this to go with this cute little eyeshadow palette you just came out with. Because you know your lipstick form is bomb and your lip glosses too. I'm mad you got rid of the shade pout because it would have went perfect with this eye look I got going on right now. But I forgot to bring it or else I'd put it on. But don't worry, I'll, I'll use another time in the Instagram picture and we'll put it on the end. How about that? Anyway, <laughs> I love the palette. I feel like you're not surprised that I love the palette because I, I love Angel's brand. I love just about everything I have tried from this brand. The only palette I didn't like were the warm tone ones, but since I'm more of a cool tone girl anyway, I feel like the formulas were a tad bit different. Like the Caliente palette, I feel like it's a tad bit different than all these other palettes. And the... um. Supreme Bronze I just wasn't a fan of because I'm not necessarily a warm phone person but it didn't have anything necessarily to do with the formula in my personal opinion. Anyway, those are my thoughts. Like I said, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember you all are diamonds. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be blessed girl. Bye.